So what we're showcasing is, you know, we're really announcing a number of use cases that are live and a number of customers that are live. So in my presentation, I talk about the readiness of banks across Europe to comply to PSD2, the actual use cases that are live, and we feature three case studies of three of our customers. And then we talk about what's the future going to look like and how are banks actually going to be able to monetize this and what do they need to do to be able to monetize this and generate revenue from open banking. Well, I'll talk about challenges for banks and then I'll talk about kind of the challenges that the ecosystem's facing. But the challenges that banks are facing is they've got to realize that there's this new financial layer that's disintermediating them. So you've got uh, PayPal and Venmo and Alipay and Klarna and Challenger banks that are all disintermediating banks because banks have not kept pace with technology and customer expectations. Banks can't just re revert to being a funding source of those transactions. They have to compete for a position in that new financial layer. And so a token through open banking, we exist to put a bank at that new financial layer where they can bring new payments propositions to customers, where they can bring new data propositions to customers and bring new account verification uh, or verification services. So that's the challenges that I think banks are facing. The challenges that we're seeing in the overall ecosystem is there's still too much fragmentation on the APIs, but companies like uh, Token resolve that and we give you one API to access all banks. There's um, also too much friction in the strong customer authentication. So we need to focus on simplifying the authentication process. Um, there's two, the payments functionality is too limited. So the regulation limits the types of payments you could do to single immediate payments. And uh, banks need to move beyond compliance APIs and support commercial APIs, which have greater functionality that can actually allow them to do more sophisticated payments for which they could charge. And then the last uh, barrier is it's really frustrating for a TPP to register with banks and onboard. It's a, it's a very difficult process. And again, we think the regulations could be simplified to, um, to make that a little bit smoother for the entire ecosystem. Well, trends to expect in financial services is it's really the APIization of financial services. So, so many industries have moved to delivering of their products and services through APIs. And banks need to realize that's the future of financial services, that as consumers, we're no longer going to log into internet banking, log into a mobile banking, or walk into a branch. We want to consume our financial services in the applications we're already using on a regular basis. So if I'm in a, a, a website, I want to be able to pay right there. If I'm uh, applying for a loan, I want to be able to see my credit score right there. Um, before I pay, I want to be able to see my balance right there. So it's really about um, putting a bank inside every app and banks shifting their thinking from uh, relationship banking to ecosystem banking and delivering their products and services through uh, APIs in the apps where their customers are already living their lives.